Ooh, high skin texture. Hello, everyone. It's moving, shopping, vlog, part two. Also, I need your opinions. I need your opinion on this as well, Benam. Mm -hmm. What are we thinking? Oh, <laughs> myself in the face with it. What are we thinking about this hairband? Is it a yes? It's very 1990s, early 90s, Sloan Square. I'm kind of enjoying the all black though, yeah, but I just don't nice. know if I suit it. Anyway, today we're off to Ikea. It is a beautifully sunny Thursday, 30th of July. So of course I decided to wear all black. Would we expect anything less? Absolutely not. Also, talking of my all black memo, um, I'm just gonna be mega livid. Mega livers. Oh. I'm just gonna be fuming that I'm filming inside this kitchen because it's kind of not you dirty. In the yeah, I am. Like a student kitchen. Tee. Um, thinking with this jacket, purely just for the look of it. I will be sweating, but beauty is sweat. I don't know. How nice is this jacket? I'll leave a link to it below. It's from Weekday. I've probably creased it because. Hi, I'm Flossie Clegg and I shouldn't be allowed nice things because I don't look after them well yeah, enough. And look how cute these photos are. I went away to Brighton. This are my friends. Is it going to focus? Is it going to focus? How cute. Woo! Okay, right. Ikea time. Woo! Here she is. Are you really moving out if you don't go to Ikea? I feel like I'm doing the whole uni student thing which obviously i've never done before i'm not actually getting any furniture from ikea i can't remember if i said that because i'm indecisive Ooh. how nice is this kitchen with the gold and the green visualizing what sorry yeah, I quite like this surface as well with the black. I'm not too keen on the stools. Immaculate vibes. I love all like the dark velvet, but I feel like it's such a commitment to buy the dark velvet furniture. If you like this sort of stuff as well, there's a really nice online store called Rocket St. George. You do the same. What are we thinking? I love it. I'm undecided as to whether I want one of these clear chairs because I really want a sheepskin over it, but I don't really know if it will go with the room. I feel like Olivia's gonna have this set up in our bedroom. I keep going round and I'm thinking, oh, Olivia would like that, oh, Olivia would like that. Oh my God, the dream, a walk-in wardrobe in the house I buy. Look, look at all of this. I mean, the choice of clothes here is another story, but we don't have to talk about that. I'm convinced you weren't a 13-year-old on Instagram if you didn't grow up dying for one of these dressing tables. This is the future. Shoe storage. Have you ever seen that before? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I just thought it was really exciting. <laughs> now this is more like it. I'm here for a bit of luxury. I need to enjoy myself in a velvet chair getting ready every morning. She hates me. She's walking away. She doesn't want to be known as the mother of a YouTuber. Fun fact. My mum and dad met a subscriber in Tesco's the other day. So if that was you, thank you. You made their day. You also kind of boosted their egos, but... It's fine, it's fine, they deserve it. Real stars of the show. Everyone's looking at me like I'm a weirdo filming fake plants. Ikea, Ooh. complete, bloody hell. You know, it makes me, let's see the damage to the makeup. Oh, where are we seeing okay. my noses? You could actually cook a full English breakfast on my nose. That's fine, I'm not gonna <laughs> talk about it. I really hate to say it, and I feel really sad saying it, but that was probably the worst Ikea trip of my life. Probably because I actually- it wasn't for fun. Yeah, because it wasn't for fun. <laughs> we didn't stop, we didn't sniff the candles. I didn't put like <laughs> 10 fake orchids in my basket, like I was hoping I would, but you know, I also said that I never thought that the first time I go Ikea shopping for, I have put hand sanitizer on by the way, I never thought the first time I go, I'm really trying to dab the oil off my nose. God, it's really, really come to this. Um, I never thought the first time I went IKEA shopping for my new flat would be in a worldwide Definitely. pandemic, but here we are. There's also been some carnage in the car park. Someone's getting around, causing a ruckus. Oh God, these, these kids, hey? 
basically just got the essentials like the boring stuff pots pans as i said before i didn't get any furniture couldn't even get the fun stuff like the plants the candles although i think it's pretty clear she's supposed to be coming down here i think you can go both ways i think oh, okay um although if you've watched my home sense vlog i mean it's pretty clear i don't think i need any more candles for the next few years i think you've got enough for about five years maybe five and a half um, yeah, whenever I lift my hands up, I'm just reminded of like how uh, long they are. Like how long my arms are. Yeah. They're normal length. I can nearly arms. touch the camera. <laughs> my hands shaking. That was with the, shaking. That was with the fear shaking. of the, the checkout bill. Oh yeah, it actually really wasn't that bad. I don't really have anything else to say. It was just a bit of a weird, a sweaty, bit busy. busy. A bit too busy. A bit people being a bit too close we did go to ikea and it is uni season isn't it oh yeah not many Gosh, students though no is it school day school's shut now for good it's, fin well, it's finished for summer hasn't it really? summer holidays yeah oh god really god August i feel so out of touch with like school holidays feels like everyday school holiday for me <laughs> but You've got your pots, your pans, your duvet. Got a duvet, got like sheets. I think I'm got gonna a cheese get cheese grater. Didn't get a sick bowl. Oh, I didn't get a sick bowl. We were saying, you know, every house has the sick bowl. Let me know if you still have your childhood sick bowl because we still have it. Our sick and bowl use it. came from IKEA. I bake out of that sick bowl now. Came from IKEA like 25 years ago. I got um, a cock. Olivia, this is for us. I got shot glasses. I got big like thing. balloon glasses as well and a cocktail shaker that actually has like the measurements of the spirits and stuff you need to make like pina coladas and stuff which let me know down below what is your favorite cocktail i'm a pina colada kind of gal but like a really frozen one almost so much so it's almost like kind of ice creamy what about I you i like a bitter cocktail like a really bitter kind of like a really sweet one <laughs> like martini or negroni or something that really kind of packs a punch and makes you go whoop I'm not the biggest fan of a martini, to be honest. Is martini tequila? Martini is just what gin is and dry vermouth, straight. Vermouth. <laughs> vermouth. So it's very, very sort of strong, <laughs> delicious. Yeah, interesting, wow. And Negroni is Campari gin and red vermouth, just straight. That is really nice. Your dad calls it a Clegroni, the Ooh. way that he makes them. Talking of daddy, I also really like white Russians, but it's something I don't indulge in myself. I feel like I'd really like Baileys. Oh, yes. Do you think I'd like it? Yes, you would. It is, though. Doesn't it make you really sick? Yeah. It's a bit like something that your auntie would drink, but it's very nice. Not that you have got an auntie, actually, but I like it when I'm a bit slightly hammered and after a meal <sighs> or at the end of the night in a pub. Yeah. I go on to the Baileys. Everyone always talks to me about espresso martinis because you'd think, you know, being the coffee lover I am, I'm an espresso I've martini kind of gal. Oh my God, do you know what? When I was walking around Ikea, I was thinking, fuck, man, think about having a child in here. <laughs> do you remember we took you and Anna to one once? Oh my oh, God, yeah, to and Anna fell. Our she, she fell. She fell and she cut her face or her chin or something. It was just like, oh God, I've now got an injured, very upset hurting child as well as being in Ikea. <laughs> These little girls are waving at people in the things. In the mum's car. Yeah, I was thinking, God, imagine having a child like walking around here in the in the mask and being like, no, don't touch it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, especially martinis. Never not had a one. fan. You've never had one? Never had one. Oh you'd like them, they're bitter. Really better. I'd like a. Um, don't they kind of perk you up at the end of the evening? They could, have they got an espresso in them? I don't know. I've had do. it once, but it was just very, very bitter. I feel like you'd need it to be kind of like a slushy kind of iced coffee. Oh, which way am I going? Shit. Right. Okay. <laughs> so it's. You'd need it to be like kind of a, a thick, creamy coffee. Um, with like some sort of vanilla in it as well like something to sweeten up because I know I mean I know I like a sweet cocktail but like I can appreciate bitter drinks as well but espresso martini maybe it was just the one I had it was just like oh Shut my up. god it was just it was just like 
a lot because you've got that like coffee can be quite acidic tasting sometimes do you think i think sometimes it can taste burnt yeah it was kind of burnt coffee with like okay. the acidicness of a maybe alcohol. maybe yours would have been nicer with a sort of a softer coffee blend in it then or just more milk it was it very milk dark it? i think it needs milk in it Ooh. Don't, sometimes on nespresso martini i've seen almost like a sort of a, a crema kind of layer yeah it had that but was that from the espresso? I don't know. It was thick. It had a thick layer on the top. But it was from a really nice, like, bar. It was from um, the Clarence. Okay, very nice. That was probably was a good one then. I went, yeah, bye. Do you have any tequila rosé in the fridge? <laughs> tequila rosé. Have you ever had tequila rosé? No. It's if a strawberry milkshake was alcoholic. Okay. It's pretty elite. Do you like a margarita? Have you ever had one of those? I think I have. Um, That's nice. I'm, That's what your new glasses would be perfect for. I'm Olivia. more of a strawberry duck kind of girl. Okay. <laughs> Can I come and stay? Yeah, we'll have Thank a cocktail you. now. Oh, that would be so much fun. Shall we? Yes. That would be so fun. Yeah, yeah, so Olivia and Lewis, I hope you're very excited for the cocktails. Maybe I should buy a cocktail book. Yeah. As a little housewarming present to myself. Okay, that's enough chat about co cocktails. See you in a bit. It's been a fair few hours. I actually got home. I made some food first and I think that was kind of what tipped me over the edge because I, I'm pretty sure I've just had an hour long nap. You know when you wake up from a nap and you just can't figure out how long you've been asleep for? I had a nap and it was very enjoyable but basically i wanted to show you first thing i want to show you actually is that i put my whole coffee in the milk frother machine because the milk frother machine heats your coffee as well and now it's like made me a whipped coffee i don't know if that could break it my mum's in the other room so i'm hoping it's not but woo and it is delicious and the perfect temperature it's a great day this room um here this room we have this room in our house that we don't actually like, really use for anything to be honest we call it the recovery room when someone whenever someone's ill we just put them in here you know my mom she doesn't like ill people um no she doesn't like dramatic people oh yeah my dad so whenever someone's ill we just put them in here and we're just like yeah just get recover and get over it in here <laughs> Um, so we got two great big boxes to like move some stuff down um, but then I think we'll probably also use some Ikea bags actually to move stuff down this is so weird I feel like you never see my house but hi this is my house um, we got well I got a big cushion which this cushion is the perfect density I'm so excited I feel like I'm to be honest I'm more fussy about cushions than mattresses like sleeping with a shit cushion there is nothing worse you know someone's got a really flimsy cushion my ex-boyfriend always used to take the piss out of me for my like pillows and cushions in my room because like my pillows were like not great anyway I don't know why I'm talking about this I got some towels look how nice these towels are they're like waffly towels um just some like sort of plain white towels i'm sorry i feel like this isn't focusing some just like kind of plain white towels i don't really love like towels that aren't white i don't know i just like white ones i got a bin for the bathroom um sieve colander just like the basic kind of stuff you know scissors it's all things you don't actually think about um and then you see them and it's like ah oh, i need all this stuff these are very exciting um i got some glasses so i got just some like plain glasses for water whatever um but i saw these balloon glasses and i thought they were so nice so i picked up quite a few of those i picked up six drinks with the girls or just lewis lewis um hope you're ready for some cocktail nights woo i also got a um in fact yeah, i'll show you i feel like i always tell myself i'm like people don't care people aren't interested i think they are like i'm interested i want to know what pots and pans people got i don't know why i don't know why it is Am I breaking something? Ooh, shot glasses. I got some shot glasses, the essentials only. Sorry if you can see my horrendously bloated belly as well, which is a bit of a problem. I got these um, glasses as well. How fun. They're kind of like, what glasses are they? The ones with the like cysts on the bottom. Frozen margarita. 
And I made the rules, not me. I think they'll just be really nice for cocktails. I can't wait to like kind of be a host and um have people over. So exciting. Oh, I gotta get this open. These are some rather sexy pans, I won't lie. They're like, this is when I discovered that I bought the wrong pans. Oh my God, no, let's not even joke about that. Can I get it open? This is when I find out I'm like peeling the wrong bit. Wait, I have scissors, I could use the... What? You need scissors to get these scissors out of the scissors pack. It's so dumb, man, it's so dumb. I can't tell if I'm being clever. All really thick right now. Right, the back of the manual. Ugh. Open! Woo! Here we go. Okay, are they the right pans? Are they the right pans? Yes, they're the right pans. Um, I got these pans. How fun. Um, they're just like plain black. Very enjoyable. And we've got induction hobs in our new place so I had to get all induction hob pans. I don't know if I told Olivia that. Why am I acting like she wouldn't know their induction pans? The girl has A levels, she can figure that out herself. Okay, so that is the glasses. The kind of I say probably the most fun and exciting part of the whole haul. <laughs> and the shop Okay, I love, I love. Okay, moving on. Oh my god, I nearly just fell over. <laughs> <gasps> can you imagine if I smash all the balloon glasses? Ow, look at my hand, man. That <laughs> really hurt. Um, <laughs> can't be bothered. <laughs> okay, next thing I got was a king size duvet. I'm only getting a double bed, but I wanted a king size duvet so it's extra fluffy. Um, a couple, uh, what's that, a cushion, another cushion, I've got four cushions, I've got like two sort of dense ones and one fluffy ones. Mate, my hand, oh my god, I like proper fell on it. Um, I then got some more pans, like a big wok, um, dust pan and brush, a cake tin, which I will be using soon actually because it's my nan's birthday coming up. Um, and I got this as well, I drink a lot of tea. And I thought this would be perfect, obviously, for loose leaf tea. See, it's all little things like this. You just forget, like, who thinks about getting a loose leaf tea diffuser? Um, a garlic crusher, essentials. And this, which is fun, it's a little cocktail shaker. I want to get, like, a prettier one as well, but this is a great startup one. I kind of want to get, like, a, um, what's it called? Like, a hammered metal one um, to look pretty, but that will all come in time. And some more towels, I've got a toolbox, um, a bowl, and fun fact actually, well it's not fun fact at all, it's quite upsetting. I smashed one of my plates, which, which, did you take it out? No. no. Oh god, where is it then? Is it in here? I smashed one of my plates already, um, so that will be fun finding that. I've also got like spatulas and stuff down there. Did I show you my knife and fork, like my cutlery? <gasps> oh, this is fun, okay. Um, I got this great big salad bowl. I'm not gonna take it out, but I love the big wooden salad bowl, super nice. Oh no, Banam, some of the threads on your blanket have pulled. Oh, that's a shame. Um, I think here is the smashed bowl slash plate. Did I smash this one? Oh my god, no. Okay, good. These two are still intact. Um, I got a little toolkit coming very handy. Now I just need me a big strong boyfriend to put my bed together. Um, bath mat. Here she is. Oh. Gone, but honestly probably forgotten about in a week um no point crying over being a dumb bitch and breaking your plate after not even being able to use it but anyway conversation for another day um where's the last bit of this plate because i do not want to cut my hand on that i also got some cutlery which to be honest i'm not obsessed with it it's not like the most beautiful cutlery i've ever seen in my life but it will do it will do the job uh maybe i'll invest in some nice cutlery maybe i'll ask for some cutlery for my birthday or something I say that, my birthday is like months away. Anyway, I think that is pretty much everything. 
Um, it's literally just like fitted bed sheets. My mum got like a blanket and some cushion covers. I don't know whether choosing a white bath mat was a massive mistake or not. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. I mean, you can put it in the washing machine. I did make sure because... I'm just imagining like shampoo or stuff like that, fake tan even, being spilt on it, but anyway, it'll be fine. Right, the time is now 5.30. I've got a gym appointment booked in at 7.30. Honestly, having the gyms open is just a dream. I know a lot of people have a lot of opinions about it and I don't really talk about gym and stuff as it is because I know it's quite a sensitive topic for a lot of people, but the clarity of mind is just everything. I love it, I'm here for it. And I'm so excited to have a gym and everything in my new apartment because in our building, we've actually got a gym which will just be perfect. It's gonna be so weird to just walk downstairs and have everything there, like going from being so in the middle of nowhere. I don't know, I was talking to my mom about it. I was saying I'm gonna miss like my drives to the gym. I'm also so shiny, Oh, I'm gonna miss my drives to the gym because I love driving and like I love that 30 minutes, it takes me 30 minutes to get to the gym, I know, ridiculous. I love that 30 minute drive of just like listening to music, having a chill. Face reveal, <gasps> there she is. I feel like I was gassing this cake up. I've been gassing this cake up the last couple of videos, not gonna lie, anyway, irrelevant besides the point. So I didn't film an outro to this video because I'm absolutely useless, so here is your outro. Um, I'm sorry my videos have been a bit weird, but I promise they'll be back to normal soon. Life's just been pretty hectic, but I do hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you did, leave a thumbs up. I've got all my social medias in the description box down below. I'm most active on my Instagram if you wanna go follow me over there. I love you all. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you all very soon. Love you. Bye.